right, guys. So, welcome back. Half fast, 719. I don't know if you can hear it, but I got LEDs in here with fans. By the way, you can see I got dirt inside the headlight. So, I'll be changing those out today. First thing I'm gonna do. First thing I'm gonna do. Pop of the hood. Anyway. Alright. These are pretty pretty basic, pretty easy to do. One thing you gotta do is get in here. Open this up. Tab. Tab in there. I'm going to be able to show you guys the tab. But you can see it. So it looks like I got a white, white piece right there. It looks like I got to push it up. So I'm going to push it up. it up as you can see so that's what I do the first thing I do is push that up because if I don't do that then I'll fight with it wondering what's going on so you push it up you take this cover off here which are these little pins. I just use wire cutters, dikes, whatever. And then just pull these pins out. Yours might be different. I think I've replaced these over the years. And then you'll take, I don't know if it's two screws, two bolts, or one or, or, or four, I mean. It's either two or four there. And uh, take this reel off. I probably should repaint it, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how deep I want to get into this project. And then there's two screws for the headlight. There's a screw here, and or it should be saying bolt, but they are technically a screw because they're a coarse thread. Anyway, so it's 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Let me get all this madness off and uh, yeah, go from there. Let me get the grill off and I'm pretty sure you don't have to take this off, but I could be wrong. And if you take this off, I don't remember. I'll get to it when I get to it. But I gotta see what size this clamp is down here because kid that bought my uh, 2012. Um, he was towing a trailer last night, a truck, and his blew off or broke. He doesn't know, he can't find it. So he ended up using zip ties. Anyway. So anyway, I gotta find out what that is, but that's not about this video. So I gotta get these off. Be back once I rip the front end apart. Okay, so a little side by side comparison. <clears throat> the old one here, it's painted white. Um, so this is what I was talking about. I thought I did it in both, but I guess I just did it on this one. So I had to drill a hole so that this light would fit. So, anyway, uh, yeah, so this is what I got for this one, and I have desiccant pack in there to prevent the water. So these ones I'm going to get 
I'm going to try to find new one things of these and to see if I can't do a different light setup. But these lights work really well. I do like these lights, these LEDs. GP Thunder 2001. Anyway. So, anyway, whatever. It is what it is. So now I got this one, which, okay, I see what they did. So we got a two wire, two wire deal, high and low, or ground and high, and then I'm assuming that one goes down oh this one goes into that wiring I guess I don't know oh so we have a three wire there you go I thought it was two so three wire green black and red green bean I'm assuming it's the low beam is green and red is high beam so anyway how this works is you plug this, you take the light bulb out of your side marker, your blinker, whatever you want to call it, and then you plug this into where the bulb went, and you shove this all in there, throw the little seal deal in there, and call it good, I guess. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out together. This light from the manufacturer under that little dome that's in there. There was like a piece of trash in there. So this will be good. It's all sealed. So let me throw this one on there. And uh, we'll go from there. Oh, by the way, you don't have to take this plastic stuff off. So I did loosen that screw, but you don't have to do it. It's just the two bolts, the grill, and whatever else. So anyway, let me throw it in real quick. Oh, that's pretty neat. I did not know it did that. So that's pretty cool. So I got high beams on, low beams on, side markers on, and the hazards are on. So that's the hazards. Hazard. Not sure if you can hear the noise down in there. We got a fan and no fan. So... Um, let me turn the hazards off and we'll show y'all what are do. Hazards off. So this, these are just the running lights now. And you see it all lights up. There's no flicker. That's, that's at just the camera running at 60 hertz or whatever. So that's pretty cool. I like them. Gotta say I like them. But I am going to redo these ones. I'm going to take these ones apart, repaint them, and try to get covers. And uh, just in case, it's backup. So pretty cool. But I'll uh, get it all buttoned up, put it all together, and then uh, I guess show you guys at night. But um, it's supposed to be... Well, I guess that corner light is. Well, that corner light's not on either. Let's see what happens when I turn the key on. Okay, because these are switchbacks too, so turn the blinker on, they're switchbacks. Anyway, so I'll show you guys at night. We'll see what happens, how it looks. But I'm going to throw the rest of them in. And then uh, it's pretty pretty easy. Not even really that hard of a operation. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. I guess I could leave links in the description for these headlights and for the LED bulbs 
that I'm using in here. So headlights, I think, are from eBay. And then those are from the Amazon. So, all right. Let me button this side back up and do that side. All right, guys. Let's see these lights. This is just unlock. Right. So I got the grill off uh, because I am going to because I'm going to repaint it. I think tomorrow. Uh oh. Uh oh. She's oh, dark now. All right, let's do it again. So that floodlight works. That's what I was trying to look at. This floodlight is not working. All right. I have no clue what's going on. That was weird. I kind of... <laughs> I'm gonna set up the camera, see why it did that. So if you see, these are the running lights. I'm gonna set the camera somewhere, or my phone I should say. Let me set it somewhere so I can see. Why does it do that? So this is for everybody to see. So I don't ouch <laughs> roll my foot on a brick. <sighs> so I cut my foot open. Anyway, so this is hazards. Pretty cool. I like them. I like them. I like them. Oh, hazards off. <laughs> so that's it's hard to really see, but we got the running lights, tail lights, whatever, or these things, these amber lights. We just throw some high beams on. Ooh, that's bright. Ooh, that's bright. Anyway, um, yeah, pretty clean. Like I said, I'm gonna be painting the grill. So, it's high beam. Just the running lights, those high beam. Um, I need to turn the fog lights on. That's cab light. Oh, those are fog lights. There we go. So that's that. That's fog lights. That's headlights. That's high beam. So, pretty bright. I think, I think that's kind of cool. I'll have to watch the video to see what it's actually doing because I don't, I don't get to see it. So, anyway, that is my truck. 
and it's dark out here and apparently I only have one floodlight working so I might have to look into ordering another set of those but this is what it's like when you lock it so anyway guys you guys can't physically see but that's it that's all I got we'll see you guys on the next here we go camera light um, we'll see you guys on the next video uh, yeah that's all I got so next video I'm probably gonna do I probably won't do the grill but what I'm gonna do is uh, heated seats on the Yamaha so stay tuned for that video so I guess See you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. And I do have to put headlights and a relay harness on this truck on the first gen. All right, later, guys.